Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Relapse Tackle. In this video we're going to paint up a 3 8 ounce shad dart to make it look more like a natural fish that you would obviously see in the water. So if it looks natural, officially eat it generally. I won't second guess it. So I'm just pulling up my heat shrink tubing. This is a 530 second heat shrink tubing. I don't want that to be above the lead a little bit to give the paint room to uh, go around the all the way around it and not leave a spot. So we're going to heat up the bottom side of this pretty well. And then I got my silver stardust. This is a silver pearl. And we're just going to dip it like so. Quite a bit on there, but it's all right. And we're going to move that aside so we don't dip into that color again. Now we're going to try to get the top side of it warmed up. I got my bronze stardust to be my next color. Should do this in a well ventilated area. All right, so next we're going to take the bronze color stardust. We're going to sprinkle that in on the top side. All right, and heat it again. We'll see it change color a little bit. Then we'll take our green pumpkin brown stardust. And we're going to Sprinkle that in the top a little bit less, but making sure that we cover, you know, some of that bronze up. All right, heat it again. And this will smoke a little bit, especially if you get that uh, shrink tubing too warm, and that can catch on fire and stuff. All right, and then we take our clear. Sprinkle our clear over top of it. And don't forget the nose of the jig. Mm -hmm. Now we can remove that shrink tubing with our needle nose pliers. Sorry, not needle nose pliers. Tweezers. I don't know why I do that all the time. I say needle nose pliers. I'm so used to using these for everything that I just say it. <clears throat> Careful not to hit the torch with the jig. But you're going to want to just kind of flash that colors together and kind of get them to bleed a little bit. And that's good. So it kind of gives it that natural look on the top and the bottom. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You can get your Stardust at Lurecraft. Lure Parts Online is where I get it. Uh, Barlow's Tackle also carries it. So. And if you want, you could press eyes into this hot paint as well, even though it doesn't have any sockets for eyes. If that paint's still warm. We'll just we'll just do that real quick. Because the paint is still warm. We'll just do this real quick. And if you have a jig that already cooled down, you can always heat it, heat that stardust back up real quick. Like this. Grab your tweezers. And these got that sticky stuff on them so that they're really kind of a pain to uh, get them to drop off of the jig or drop off onto the jig. Come on. Of course, it's going to be a bugger.
We'll get her though. Set the eye back a little way. These guys are going to be looking up. As most fish do, they look up. And pressing them into that paint while it's still warm really locks them in there. Top side of the jig, side. And then if you wanted to go back and add some color to a jig you already have also, you just heat it up a little bit. And if you wanted to add a little bit of UV orange, a lot of, a lot of jigs have that in the bottom. You're going to want to make sure you don't heat the eyes up too much, though. You can discolor the eyes. But if you wanted to just... Heat it up and just put like a little little orange on the belly. You got a little bit on the front there too, but it's all right. Just kind of flash it in there real quick. You can always do that too. And you have a little. Little hit of orange in the bottom there. Kind of look like a little perch fin. All right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Thank you all.